Hi, Supersters here, back on our Ordinal Marker video, episode 35, and it's been a few seconds since the last episode, I'm gonna collapse for almost 2 million cardinals again, at almost, yeah, 214 factor boosts, so here we go, I'm gonna collapse for, yes, I will collapse, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna distribute all cardinals. This will give me, actually, good multipliers to all of 0 power, and maybe even a little all of 2 power, so here, here it is. I also have two unassigned cardinals, I guess I'll put it here, just because. And then, I should probably start getting Aleph Omega. So, like, I, I, the, like, these powers, like, it's good. Like, this is up to 15, this is going up a little bit, it's actually not that much. So, I shouldn't really worry about that. I should, said, worry about this. So, Aleph Omega boosts Aleph Omega multiplier by 1.48 times. It's actually not that powerful. I should probably buy this as much as I can, though. So that's 1.52, so it's a little bit better. And then I should probably get these... Um, I should probably do this, because this this will... I, I'm not really sure what max is 50% of all of Omega really does, but I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna spam click this. Just, like, just so I can, I can get this to a certain amount. Like, like, a, like a really good amount. Like, that, that's what I'm trying to get. I... Like, I feel like once I get this, it's going to be just so much better. So, yeah, it's good. I have it 80 times per second at this point. Should probably start going to challenge 8 now. Honestly, this run's going to be, like, the same, like, essentially the same as as the last run. Like, it, it, like before the Backman Howard Ordinal. So, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm just going to cut out all this, all, all the pre Backman Howard Ordinal stuff here. So, yeah, I've seen a bit... And I think I've already I've already gotten the back from Howard Ordinal with like not even the right build here, and it is just it's just so fast here. I I can barely even get this incrementing because I, I seriously it's like I it's that fast, and I think I yeah I don't even need to press S or B because they're just auto clicking like 80 times per second. So yeah I, I can now just be completely AFK. So. Yeah, that, that's pretty exciting. Let's sleep. I'm not exactly sure how, how far I'm really gonna get here. It's probably it's gonna be something pretty overpowered though. Like I'm, I have no idea how many cardinals I'm gonna be able to get, but it's it's gonna be a lot. Hopefully, I'm trying to get this last olive upgrade here. Which is gain three percent of most cardinals gained at once per second, which I think is gonna be pretty huge. See in a bit. Okay, I'm back a few minutes later, and I am right now getting a total of. Four factor boosts per second. I'm not even sure how that's possible, considering it's taking this long to get all the factor shifts. It's probably some weird thing. I'm, I'm not really sure what it's caused by, but it it must be something. It has to be something, because like maybe it has to do with like these auto procedures or something. And then the other thing here is that I cannot get any more than um, 970 million cardinals because. I, and now that that I passed 1,000 seconds in, into the collapse, it's just the next cardinal is in too many factor boosts away. So actually, at this point, what I sort of want to try is I just want to try what this even does. Max is going to be 50% of all of Omega. So is that just so? Okay, I, I see. That's like so. It just it'll just do half of the all of Omega. It'll do them into equally. So that means I don't have to spam click. So actually, this is actually pretty nice. Maybe if I. I wonder if I do this, if this speeds things up at all. So, I, um, I'm still getting four factor boosts per second, so it doesn't really seem to be speeding things up at all, but I think what I need to now do is the ultimate speed collapse. I need to really do this as quick as possible. I'm not even sure if I need to do the challenges, but like this means I'm what I'm going to do here, I'm going to collapse, dist distribute all, and then just start going, just start doing it as quick as possible. So I'm not gonna cut this one out. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Distribute all, going to challenge eight. I need, I need to actually be quick. Challenge eight, um, get the first two factor boosts. Um, get this, get the, or get the next factor shift. I, I said factor boost instead of factor shift, wow. And then base six, go into base five, because that's a little quicker. And base five here and now just try to get some dark upgrades so just just these and maybe now i can actually while i'm waiting for decremeny i can check i'm up to like 26 times multiplier here and i have um 
I should probably do this. Um, 1.84. I get. I'm getting this now. I should probably now complete the challenge. I have to, have to be very quick with this, and I'm, I'm not very good under stress. Like like speed stress. Also, I need. Actually, I can't even do challenge one. What am I doing? See, I'm. I told you, I'm not very good under stress, uh, under like time constraints. I'm just not. I mean, I just need a clear strategy. I'm, I'm not sure, but anyway, we can get some factor boost here. We can get these in incremental upgrades. Maybe we can just get this double the production of incremental twelve factor boosts. This will allow me to um, get challenge one and challenge two. Challenge one will be super easy. The challenge one time wall is barely. Like, it barely exists at this point. So, um, yeah, there's three completions of challenge one, challenge two now, and three completions of that should also be easy. Cannot really get anything incrementally related. I can get these man can get these manifolds, though. And here's three completions of challenge two. And now, just, I, I don't know why I changed my build. I don't really even need to change my build at this point. Get these incrementally upgrades. And then maybe also this E19 incrementi upgrade in that manifold. And then um, six, uh, six more factor boosts. This should allow me to complete challenge four, at least the first couple times. Um, there's the first time. I think also the second time. No, that's only the first time. And then I think I, I think this is I can complete challenge six, at least one time. Yeah, there's there's one completion. Second completion is also easy. And I think, yeah, there's third completion as well. And then there's challenge 7 with its little time wall. It's not really that big. I do have to do this manually, though. And I think that gives all three completions of challenge 7. And then I can go back into challenge 4 to try to get these last two completions. Yes, there they are. And then get challenge 1. Or not challenge 1. Just challenge 3 and and 5 going. So there's, here's challenge 3. I should be able to... actually cannot get all three completions of it in one go but there that is and then um first completion second completion actually and third completion so there all the challenges are which means now i should be able to yeah just reach the back one howard ordinal and maybe i could just re oh no not like that like i can like reset my build just to make it a little quicker and try to grab as many incremental upgrades as i can here like the e20 and the e22 just to just to try to speed things up slightly, and I'm back in Howard Ordinal with only 200 seconds. And also I'm getting more factor boosts than before, like I'm, I'm still getting 4 per second. So I'm not really sure what is causing me to get 4 per second. There's nothing here that specifically states that. Maybe it's just, maybe it's something to do with the booster upgrades. I don't really see anything though. So it says, you also start with a free maximize auto buyer as a gift. Our clicker as a gift. I'm not really, really sure what that means, but whatever. I, I don't think that really matters at this point. So now I'm just gonna try to wait a little bit longer. It's definitely. I feel like I will be able to get to like a, a, enough cardinals to get that last Aleph Omega upgrade. So it's it's 4.29 E9. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back like 15 minutes later or something like that. And I have almost 5,000 factor boosts, and I can get about 10 billion cardinals at this point. So, yeah, I don't actually I don't think that's enough to get the Aleph Omega. I'm, I'm, I'm like, yes, I have enough, but then I'm like, wait, I don't have enough. It's just barely not enough. It's actually very disappointing because if I collapse here, I, I'll I need I think 4.29 E9, and this will give me, like, com in combination with this, like, 1.04 E10 will give me about 3.8 E9 Aleph Omega. So we're, s I'm so close, but just not quite there. So I just have to do another, I have to do another one of these. It's unfortunate, but I'll do this on camera because I, I, I think it's a little bit more, I, I, I think it's a little better. I, I don't know what I'm saying, but whatever maybe maybe I should get some more auto procedures just like one of these just so I can click this much faster and then I will get all these cardinals here so yeah again I have to be as quick as possible here we go three two one go distribute all and then um, just go into challenge eight 
challenge eight, challenge eight. Get the first couple factor boosts or factor shifts. I always say factor boosts. Why do I say? Why do I say that? I, I don't need to say factor boosts. It's factor shifts. Me. Okay. Anyway, e six, e eleven, almost enough to get yeah, to base five, and then I'm um, try to get deeper many here, and then like actually I think it's gonna be even faster. And then maybe now I can actually go get some all of my. You can see how close I am to this. I'm just not quite there. And now just get all these dark manifolds and complete the challenge. And then just just go into the regular build here, just just to get us like 12 factor boosts or something like that. Get these incremental upgrades. And don't forget to do that. Get this, and then that is 12 factor boosts. Um, challenges going to challenge one should probably get this because that will speed things up and then just um, deal with this these time walls that barely exists I'm not even sure what my multipliers are but I, I'm not even gonna look because I need, I need to be I need to go as fast as possible here so here's here's the completion of challenge two challenge two is a lot easier so I think at this point yeah just try to get more factor boosts try to get incrementing upgrades as well Try to get the E19 in Germany as well. I keep saying as well. Um, get up to 21 factor boosts, which is enough to do. I'll, I'll do challenge three first. I, I think that that's a little bit faster if I do that first, and then challenge five the first couple times, challenge three third time, and then um, redo my build. So just to just to like do this, get this going. And then challenge four, hopefully, like, actually that's only one time. I probably should get challenge six done first, that's a little easier. And then and there's that, challenge seven, also easy. Just, I, of course I have to do this. And then all three completions, challenge four will also be easy. And then just go into one more build to get challenge five third time done. I don't know why I turned that on, that was an accident. If you're trying to go so quickly, that's the thing. And then here it is. So now I've just changed the build to like a regular um, factor boost farming build. And yeah, that hopefully that, sh that should be pretty fast. Also, just get these last few incrementing upgrades. I'm not even sure if I can get this to E22 upgrade. I'm literally holding enter on it and I can't do it. So it doesn't look like I'm able to get that. But it's so quick, I don't really need it. So that only took. But that took well under three minutes and now these multipliers is 31 31 and about 62 so it's pretty powerful I'm I'm just so close to 4.29 e9 I'll have like I can just spam this as much as possible to try to get as much as I can yeah now I have one two yeah that's essentially what I had before I started distributing all so yeah maybe I can even I can just do this one more time. You know, I can just, you know what I should do? Just that. So I can, I have zero of this. And yeah, now I have to just wait again for 4E, 4.29E9. I'm gonna need approximately, I don't think I only need about 2E9 cardinals to get that. So yeah, seen another bit. Okay, I'm back and I can now gain um, 18 billion cardinals. I'm just gonna do it now because of the Olive upgrade here. It says it's gained 3% of most Cardinals gained at once per second. Oh, it's most Cardinals gained at once. I thought I thought it had to do with like once per second. Like it, it was like the most Cardinals gained per second. But what, whatever. I can, I can still, you know, distribute all Cardinals here. And this will give me um, mildly better multipliers on this. But more importantly, it will give me one more Aleph Omega, which will allow me to gain 3% of most Cardinals gained at once per second. And actually, I've heard that this is not the last upgrade, because, yeah, there's stuff. Stuff. I have no idea. It looks like, okay, these three are just redacted. Uh, maybe I'll be able to do them later in the game, because there are more mechanics. And then, this is keep 10% of factor boosts on Collapse, which could be really nice but it's it's too expensive for me to actually do anything with so I, I think 
I, I think the next goal here is to complete Sluggish Milestone 1, and that's going to take a while. That's going to be next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.